Shalom family, I welcome you to this prophetic encounter in the name of Jesus. The Lord says the resistance is broken. Hallelujah. God says the resistance is broken. That thing that stood before you, preventing you from accessing the level that God says you should be in. That thing that has been preventing you from your miracle. That thing that has been standing before you as a resistance. God says that resistance is broken. Hallelujah. If you're joining us for the first time, this is Healing Word with Pastor Igwe. And I would like to officially welcome you to the family. Thank you for being a part. Please make this relationship official by subscribing and then ring the notification bell so that you'll be informed every time we upload a new video. And if you're watching, please like and share with your family. You know I love you so much and you have my prayers always. Thank you for being a part of this session. God says the resistance is broken. A prophetic word is taken from the book of Joshua chapter 6. In verse 1 of Joshua chapter Chapter 6, the scripture tells us that Jericho was tightly secured such that no one went out and no one came in. Why? Because the people of Jericho were afraid of the Israelites. God had given a word to the Israelites. He told them, I have given you the city of Jericho. So when the people who lived in Jericho heard this, they were so afraid, knowing what God has done to the other places that he promised to give to the children of Israel. The entire nation was so afraid that they locked the city gates. Nobody would go out and nobody would come in. But God had promised the children of Israel to give them Jericho. But as we read at this point, we see that there is a resistance. There is something preventing the children of Israel from possessing what God has promised them. The city gates had been shut and we are made to understand that the walls of Jericho was so wide that six chariots could stand on its weed. That is how tightly secure Jericho was. There is a promise that says, I have given you the land, but there was a resistance. There was something standing between them and the fulfillment of the promise. But when we read through to verse 20, the scripture tells us that when the priests had blown the trumpets and the people of Israel shouted with a loud shout, then the walls of Jericho fell down flat. God brought the walls down. There was no restriction anymore. There was no barrier anymore. There was nothing stopping the children of Israel from possessing what God had promised them. And so they went in and took possession of the land. The Lord says that in the coming days, he will open doors for you. He would lift them. He will open doors for you. He would break the resistance and cost you. Uh, the Lord says in the coming days, he will open doors for you. He would break the resistance and cause you to walk in his plan. The Lord says there is going to be a shift and you should expect it. Expect a shift. Get ready for a shift. In the coming days, God says every resistance will be broken. Every barrier will be lifted. You are stepping into the levels that God said you would be in. You are stepping into the places that God had declared. Mm -hmm. You are stepping into the places that God had promised you. The Lord is giving you access into the things, into the places that he had promised to bring you to. Into the places that he had promised to bring you to. The Lord says in the coming days, doors will be open. In the coming days, doors will be open. The children of Israel had received the prophecy. They had received the word from God, but there was a restriction. There was something standing on their way. The city gates had been, the city gates had been securely. The city gates had been securely shut, and the walls of the city were so wide that they could not break through. But God instructed them to praise. 
and when they follow the instructions as, as the Lord, when they follow the instructions as the Lord had given them, then the Lord brought down the walls. I want you to just begin to celebrate God for the victory that is coming your way. As loud as you want your testimony to be, begin to praise. Hallelujah.